Hey, what's going on, you guys? Black B40. Um, just continuing from my last video about uh, regionals. I'm gonna show you the deck I played. It was uh, GBs, like I said before. Um, pretty much, this is my last time I'm gonna do deck on GBs, and it's probably the last time I'm gonna be playing it. Um, most likely because, uh, like I said in my last video, either I'm gonna quit or I'm just gonna make um, GKs. Cause uh, the way you go is right now is just really uh, it's it's kind of boring. You know, uh, all the saggy deck wins, and um. Yeah, it's really no written out anymore. But, um, <clears throat> so pretty much, uh, like I said, this last profile, um, I don't know if I'm gonna sell the deck. Uh, I'm not 100% sure yet, but I'll definitely let you guys know. But, um, yeah, so I'm just gonna explain all my deck changes as I go along. So, I hope you guys enjoy it, and, uh, please like this video, and, uh, <clears throat> let's get started. So, I ran two Laquari, um, two is always standard, you never. One on three. Um, Darius, I should have ran it two. Darius was um, really key for the easiest Dari play, which I summoned a lot. I was actually considering running two of the Dari that I really should have. Um, also for exceeding, because this deck uh, has a really hard time to exceeding. You make easy um, rank fours. Uh, two, uh, two quests, obviously. You know, you want to recycle all your GBs and all your whatnots. Uh, you want best Yari, one other Yari. One with Melo and the card I am definitely gonna take out is Hotmiss because yeah, I think it's not as good as it used to be. Um, you know, when this card was good, like say black and format, um, your opponent would have to collude over him. But you think about now, if you set him, say first turn, he'd probably get destroyed by a card effect. It's really not that good. So, um, definitely would definitely take him out. Not even sighted, it's completely out. I would uh, put in a second Darius because like I said, Darius is really key for his deck. You know, you want to. Your Esadari out, you only get your C's out, so yeah, that's um standard uh, GB lineup. Uh, non GBs, you want, you want Gores, uh, two Thunder King, really key against eh, against uh, Insectors and all that random crap. Uh, Sweeper, good wall, you know, um, good stall against dragons because people like hop on the bandwagon now. And um, the one Valor, I wasn't gonna run two, uh, maybe because you know I have the. Um, worst hair, I'd rather negate and destroy it than rather just negate, but this card was definitely key. It just helped, you know, it, it helped even stuff out. I didn't want my opponent going too crazy, so that was definitely good. So, yeah, that was monsters. Um, I'll get on with the spells really quick. Holy crap. <laughs> it's all got on spells. Um, for the spell lineup, you run your two, your two proven grounds, you know, um, throw on three. Actually, yeah, don't three, don't one, two is just uh, the perfect number. <laughs> so, um, two special grounds. I drew it all day yesterday. It was really good. The only time I didn't draw, like I said, um, in my last video, in round four, I was playing uh, E Heroes, and my opponent had Shining on the field, and for some reason I just could not draw it. Like every other game, I drew like almost open hand two of them. Like it was really good, but I guess wasn't drawing it. it happens. Uh, one Book of Moon. One mind control. Mind control is really, really good. Um, I should have put it in earlier. <coughs> this format is, you know, exceeding everything, and my monster level fours. I can just, you know, easily just take the monster exceed. Also, another play I did was actually really, really good. Um, my opponent had a uh, utopian field, and I had a face down, <coughs> face down herc. I drew two proven ground, and I got bestiary. Mind controlled. One two. Um, Guys, ours, and I popped his monster. You know what I mean? So, it's a really good card. You wanna, you know, run it. <laughs> uh, one monster born, one dark hole. I bumped up to three MSTs because of insectors and all the random stuff. Actually, I believe insects still get the effect, but I'm not most sure. But I still don't want them to pop stuff, so that's why I have that, which is really good. And new one next storm, which is obvious. So, um. Is that and for the traps, I bumped down to two war chair because of uh, space. Uh, three is good still, but like I said, I had to fit in new cards here, so definitely two. And it's still gets the job done. Um, you run two bombless, I drew them all day every day, it was really good. Just with the trenchal, should be at two. Um, drew them a lot, sectors, and all that random crap. It, it would, you know, definitely works. Some judgment, two some warnings, uh, seven tools. People still don't really um, see coming. D just like Dutch NATO, just like I said, it's my little tech. I always run Dutch NATO. 
start the road, you want to protect all your cards. And um, I was running one, but now I run two. Uh, Compulse. Uh, either I was going to run two Compulse or two Deep Prison. I decided with Compulse better because, like, Deep Prison, I'm ready to run uh, removal in this deck. And Compulse, I can just, you know, easy get out the, um, <clears throat> I can get out the Zen mains easier. Like, like, any problematic cards, I'd rather get out to Compulse. You know what I mean? So, it definitely works. And it's Shamble, which, uh, what do I call it? Deep Prison, unless they attack, you really can't use it, obviously. But, you know, say they summon, you can just play Compulse. It's better for you. In my opinion, no. But you you can try deep prison if you really like it. So that's a <clears throat> that's the main deck for the extra deck. Should always say the same. You're gonna two Gazars. Gazars blow stuff up. Don't run three. One Herclanos. Um still wouldn't run it two. Definitely just need one. One that's Dar, that's Dar definitely 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 gonna run it two. I need to guess. <laughs> and you got second one, um it is good, you know. Um when you need to run the Stardust or just, you know, get the extra push out there, or even play the Div 4, because I don't like having, like, a second, so, I don't like having a Marmillo, or, uh, what's that called, um, Ready Ari in the grave, I'll just Darius, and go to SDR just so they can get back in the deck, it was really good, uh, one kind of attack, does that mean, and, you know, come on, uh, Synchros, Catastor, Brionic, Black Rose, and Stardust, these also, self-explanatory, you know, you uh, effect late effect Baylor and you know a normal uh, GB Brianna could get out through Sidari and effect Baylor Black Rose um through uh, guys ours and Stardust because you run your road and for the exceeds you're gonna run uh, one Utopia one Steel Swarm Roach really good for um what's that called Dark World really good for dragons and one my stroke a uh, really good card you know it's a uh, gotcha gotcha on crack you gotta run it don't do what people say. They say it's bad, but um, it's not. It's want me a couple games, so um, yeah, it does that. And um, <clears throat> for the side deck, it changed a lot. Uh, I'm like I said, I'm gonna explain that as I go. So, uh, one Sidra, obvious. One um, Grammel. Uh, possibly could take this out. Didn't really use it that much. Um, didn't really find too many. That means, and if I did, there's compulse. So. No, be used for that card. One well, Fazdana, really, really good against dragons. If they go off with um, Red Eye Dark's Metal, bring all the random crap, you can just, uh, they attack, flip Fazdana, and destroy all of them. It works really good. One Hang Soldier, because I couldn't find my Slum here. It, it still helps, you know, if you want to go for a big push, you know, say, like, you just set it, they attack it, uh, it turns monster to the hand, then you go off, so it's really good. One. The Didi Crow, I uh, you'll see why I'm only on one, but obviously you get some sectors. You won uh King Tiger, uh in sectors. Uh one Spirit Bird. I thought I was gonna be playing Sam's, but I didn't. But it definitely did help against heroes. You get aside the mirror force, um it's really not needed in the main right now. You already have a lot of defense and this deck is really, really aggressive, so there's no point of relying on a mirror force to save you. Um I took out D fissures for Macrocosmos was working really, really good. Uh, just remove not just mods but everything. Um, uh, actually, um, a friend told me that these are better against insectors than um, what's that called? D fissure because D fissure removes monsters, but when insectors go off, you gotta realize the Hornet is a it, it's a spell card. So, well, it's a spell or trap card, and Macrocosmos removes everything. So. Definitely really good. Um, a card I sided against Down Rabbit, but I did not play. I was actually very upset the whole day. You can, can ask anyone. I'll say I want to play Down Rabbit. I want to play Down Rabbit. You know, kind of stupid. But um, Mirvolts. Mirvolts. I want to explain real quick. Uh, I was really, really surprised people have not been playing this card. I don't know why. Yeah, think about it. Down Rabbit. What are they doing? Rescue Rabbit. Bring out Cobblezoodles or Ceratosaurus. That sells something in the deck. Um. Uh, what's that called? Tour guys spell something deck. They they can't do Levier. You're gonna punish them, and you're gonna draw a card. So, it, it's it's also like like a mini maxi. If you don't have maxi, you wanna run this card. You know, like I said, um, like don't run three two is definitely best. But you gotta think this really messes up Diamond Rabbit. Um, and what else does Diamond Rabbit have? Well, Thunder King, but you can just bomb it. Trunchula. It's this card's really good. And I'm surprised it's not seen play. You know, because this card was used against GBs and. Looking now, it's in a GB side deck, you know. Uh, two Wapakus against Heroes, and 
or my crush against everything else because you will see your opponent's hand. So yeah, that's the deck profile. Hope you guys like it. Um, you know, please like this video and um, yeah, uh, I might do some. Uh, I might do a video later later in the week about great keepers. Uh, I'm not I'm not sure, but um, I don't know. Uh, I guess that's it. So I uh, hope you guys like the deck profile. Like I said, like this video and uh, I don't know, it's pretty much it. Thank you for it. Sign up.